Hello. Been working on a couple new little projects and I thought I'd discuss them a little bit. Let everybody know what I'm up to again. This one, these are both uh, lid motor circuits. Uh, this one here is the auto start pulse motor. And this one over here is the self starting frequency motor. This one I really like. It works great. This is the circuit for it. Uh, if you go to uh, Lid Motors channel, you can find these circuits and he draws a very nice uh, diagram of them. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to show you mine, <laughs> my drawings. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about today a little bit was the super cap. I uh, ordered a few of them. I ordered two 50Fs and two 10Fs. I put them both on this one here, the frequency motor. So I had uh, two 50s and two 10s on it. And then I just let it run. I charged them up to uh, 2.3 volts. And I just let it run to see how long it run. It ran for 15 hours. Now I have them uh, both running on 150 and 110, and they're both running for eight or nine hours each. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> a lot of fun with them. Uh, found out a couple things though. Did some research on the super caps. I've heard some people say that they don't have much luck with them. I think probably the reason is uh, too much voltage. I did some research on them and they say that the uh, insulating material in them is very, very thin. That's why how they can make them so small. And uh, over voltage will cause them to break down quite readily. <laughs> so I'm very careful when I charge them up. I only use two AA batteries and uh, I, I, I watch them. I put a meter on them and make sure they don't go over about two and a half volts. And they hold the charge excellently. I mean, I, I've let them set for an hour and they've lost literally nothing. You know, so they're working really good. Uh, another thing here uh, I did that I thought was kind of neat. I took a little brass screw and I cut the head off of it. And then I took a, on my drill press and bolted down a little steel plate and I drilled a hole in it the same uh, size as the screw, just barely clearance for it. I locked a couple nuts on one end and I dropped it in that hole uh, without moving the drill press at all, so it was all locked right in place. And then I took put a center in the uh, chuck and I came down and I centered both ends of that little uh, shaft. Uh, and then I simply mounted it in the cap by drilling a hole right in the center of the cap. It's a little hard to get it right dead in the center. But it, it turned out pretty good as you can see. It's just sitting on a sewing needle and there's a guide needle on the top. Once I get it going I don't need that guide needle on the top. It'll run fine without it. I thought it was pretty neat. So I thought I would uh, just take a minute and share it with you. Be careful on your super caps so you don't uh, accidentally <laughs> overcharge them because that'll be the end of them. I've got more coming. I'm going to do a lot more experimenting. My next project will be the Jewel Ringer, which I started on. And I'm having pretty good luck with it so far. And I'm already jumping ahead and wanting to make myself an exciter slayer. <laughs> I see everybody has them out there and I really want to make one. And that'll be coming up. I just thought I'd share this with you. Have a nice day.